What? Yeah. You have a mythic GTI? Yeah, man. What? Don't you? I thought I thought what? everybody had these things. Where did you win? They what? were handing them out like 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 crazy, man. No. no way. Yeah, they were just giving them out. I, don't know. <laughs> I when I when I minted uh the 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 um T3, mm -hmm. I went common 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 and i was watching scruffy's live and scruffy's like i got a legendary i got a rare i got a he's like oh he's like and then he's like he had the audacity when he was getting his fifth one because he was like had a legendary rare uh common and uncommon he's like maybe i can hit for the cycle Welcome to Around the Corn, presented by the Knights Guild. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe because getting the likes and subscriptions is the best part of our day. If you want to hear us speculate wildly on something in-game, throw your questions in the comments. The next episode, we'll pretend to know the answer. Follow us and the Knights Guild on X. You can also learn about the Knights Guild on Discord or their website. Great resources for you to check out. All the links you need are in the description. I'm your host. Bo Hubris, as always, I'm joined by the man Chuck Norris looks to for buying NFTs, Eddie Z. Eddie, oh. let the people, yeah, Chuck Norris, let the people know <laughs> what we got for them today. Perfect, man. Yeah, we got uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, putting awesome, you in high, high regard there, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, no, we got, uh, we're going to be talking about some sliders, talk about base, and some guild yeah. news. Yeah, some guild news. I mean, but today, I think because it's kind of like maybe like a little bit of a slow news week, we were thinking we're just gonna we're just gonna do some racing. We're gonna try to see if I can't just once get one win under my belt against you, and we're gonna do some talking and some racing at the same time. And uh, you know, so we'll you know we're all waiting for the next build to come out. So I think that's probably gonna be a fun way to spend our episode this week. Absolutely, it's uh, gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah. I know because I, I asked a question in the Kopi Cafe Discord, and you're like, and you asked, I think you said, how many races would I win out of ten? And I said, I don't know, but I would bet the under, whatever, whatever you set. So, um, I All think, right. uh, right. but well, I'll, I'll do my best. You know, let's give, let's give you're not, you're not, you're not impervious. All right, let's um, go. Let's go. Let's see what you yeah, got. It's been a, it's been a couple weeks since oh. we've been at it, man. What you've been up to? Uh, not much. Uh, I definitely, uh, it's been a busy week. I actually was, didn't have time to compete against that creator creator uh, contest that they got going on. Yeah, uh, I saw Kopi Boars, though. That was pretty dope. Yeah, did, did Kopi Boar end up winning it? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Did they announce it? I don't know. I, 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 I'm i catching up on my Cornucopius news. We're doing Yellow Tracks, right? The Yellow Tracks. Yeah, yellow I think we, we, oh, if you, unless you want to do the, uh, the Red Track. We should button. do a Red, we should throw a Red Track in okay. after. We'll okay. do, let's do Yellow and they'll throw a Red Track in because okay. Red Track doesn't get as much love All right. as it deserves. Understandable. I mean, All right. I think Red Track is a lot more fun, but it's also like a lot longer and uh, a lot harder. So, Eddie, are you are you angry about the delays to the um, sliders, or do you think it's you know are you were you happy with what they said? Are you raging right now? Are you are you ready to you know throw your gate your cornucopius in the trash and never play it again because you're so mad about the sliders? Absolutely, absolutely. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. No, it's not. I don't. It's deadlines happen. You know, they get yeah. pushed back. It's fine. I'm not. I, the fact that they've made an amazing game so far, I can wait. I mean, uh, it's until I get it perfect. I'd rather have them get it. I'd rather they get it perfect instead of having it, you know, glitched out uh, yeah. and not working. So, all right, man. I, yeah, I think Rob was talking about that they were they, in the office or whatever they were. Uh, they were trying to do. Um, they were pushing it to the extremes and they were getting like pretty funny results. So that'd be funny. The, yeah. So this is usually where we hit each other on this first turn. Um, oh. What I, happened there? I blew up. Did you I flew up? way up in the air and then landed. I was, uh, you know what's funny? I was actually slowing down to like just observe you, and then next thing you know, we collided. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 30 health, so I don't know. That'll be interesting to see the replay on that. Okay. I, I I've never seen that in all the racing that we've done. I've never seen me fly straight up in the air after getting hit. That's a new. Yeah, like my my frame rate kind of. Oh. <laughs> what happened? You Did I hit you again? Me. Oh, see, I didn't see that. I but didn't even see you I, around me. At that time, I saw I saw you by my side, though. I usually don't see um, the 
uh, other vehicles to my left or right. So that was interesting. Uh, okay. I've been raced in the yellow track in a minute. <laughs> or it's been a minute. Yeah. Oh, I hit the inside, inside of the S turn. What do you think is going to make like really good sliders? So uh, first off, I'm a little angry because they said there's going to be they don't have beards yet, which is like, <laughs> I mean, I was almost going to think about shaving my beard in protest because of that, you know? <laughs> uh, shave the beard. No, uh, yeah, shave the beard, right? Like, if you guys don't get me beards within a month, this I'm shaving this beard right off. Well, guys. hell, even Josh was upset about that one. He's like, oh God, I got beards in there. I got. Like, I, I hope they have a vari variety of choices for that because yeah. even though I, I'm, I'm clearly clean shaven uh, I doesn't necessarily mean that my avatar has to be clean shaven. I, I do like putting a beard on my dude sometimes uh, yeah. in my avatars, whatever game that I play on. I mean, when you're in the beard brotherhood like Josh and I are, it, it, you know, you uh, you really take offense to it when you don't get those kind of options. Cause yeah. You spend a lot of time thinking about your beard and, and worrying about what other people think about your beard and so you really want to make sure you get that option. Yeah, I don't. I don't get a uh, full beard. I don't. I wasn't blessed with that DNA. I got I the. Uh, I got. I got what I call the reverse Hitler. I got like a patchy. <laughs> I get a patchy patch, and then next thing you know, and I have a reverse Hitler where I, everything grows on my mustache except for the middle. So. <laughs> I think. Um, I think you probably save a lot of money on uh, on razors, so you probably could. I mean, that's probably a benefit for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still shave just because I don't want the patchiness for work, but yeah. Can buy nodes yeah. with that extra extra shaving money. <laughs> I'm curious what kind of tattoo designs we're going to be coming out. And yeah, that's so, kind of curious now because yeah, yeah. like that it's point. funny because we've been talking a lot about tattoos just randomly. Yeah. Like that's the example that you kind of go to, and it's like, and then it's, and then so no no beards, but you're going to have tattoos. Yeah, I'm I'm very curious how that the tattoo system is going to work because you know unless it's just like they give you tattoos. I mean, it would kind of be cool if they. If it's something that you, you know, some tattoo artist can actually create, and I don't know. I just thought I mean, that there was an opportunity for tattoos to be able to be made into an NFT that you can redeem and place it on your uh, on your character. So like people would have to create, you know, like let's say a future crafting uh, station is is going to be a tattoo parlor. So that person has, you know, it was a, has played enough to level up their you know, their tattoo parlor up to a certain level where they can create unique and only they can create them. You know, only they can, you, you can take an NFT and two units, tattoo NFT and take it to this parlor and they will be the only one, the only parlor on the block uh, or in Solace One to, you know, to do that for you. That'd I'm be sorry, cool. but you don't have the fastest lap any. Oh man, this is because I'm talking, huh? <laughs> I'm not going to be happy until I can get the Kopi Unicorn Tramp Stamp. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's gonna exist. Oh, the, <laughs> if it doesn't, it's gonna as happen. Soon as Kobe, the minute Kopi Unicorn hears that, I hope he starts working on the Kopi Unicorn tramp stamp. That's yeah. gonna be. Uh, I mean, I think also hot these commodity. obviously these NFTs would have to go through a centralized system, right? Because it can't they can't just have uh, explicit explicit uh, images on as tattoos, right? So yeah. I would assume that there's got to be some control over the NFT, the creation, if that if that idea were to be uh, adopted and accepted in terms of like, because I would something I would do, I would probably be if there was like a way that we can have like governance where I proposed a tattoo parlor crafting station and then what that would do to the economy. I think that would be, I, w I would hope that that would be accepted. I, I would, uh, and then the people would vote on it and see if that's a good idea if, uh, uh, or not. And then people would be able to, who knows, maybe that could be adopted. And then people are actually out there, actual artists are out there being able to do tattoos and draw them out and yeah. put them into a game. I mean, it, it would really go a long way to giving you uh, your character a unique feel where, where you, you, you know, one on one tattoos. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that is really, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. did, I think Rob said something about uh, like green skin color, like maybe Hulk skin color. I'm gonna, That'll I'm be gonna, dope. Yeah, I'm going to queue up for the red track. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Before it gets dark out. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it going to get dark out? Oh, no. no, I don't think. I think we're all right, but. Uh, Take the blue out there, the blue T3 this time. All right, so so far I beat you with the first race, right? 
Yes, you definitely beat me, but I did have the I did <laughs> get a little bit faster lap, so okay, okay. That, that's a little bit of hope for me. All right, cool, great um, job on that lap though, too. Actually, <laughs> you're like you're like good job, buddy. I didn't even like, know. really patronizing. I love it. You're like <laughs> keep it up, Fo, yeah. You can do it. Great job, buddy. <laughs> Man, so I don't. I mean, I hope. So it sounds like the sliders are coming next week. I would think, like the way they said, they said it might be out Saturday. With the, when they were posted the the Kopi Cafe, or it didn't come out Friday, I don't remember now. It's all running together. But it was Friday. That, yeah, so they said it could be out that day. And uh, so, I mean, it, it wasn't. And But also, like, you know, I, if, if, it, if it takes another week or so, it's really, you know, it, it's not like it's like they're only working on the sliders. They're not. They're, I mean, they got different groups of people working on different things, and that's one thing that I was kind of excited about in the Kopi Cafe is that they said there's going to be more than just the sliders coming out. It sounds like we're going to have like a new set of hollow caches. We're going to have some yeah. kind of um, so uh, saving of the information, which we you know don't have right now, and we'll mm-hmm. be able to you know race and and see. I mean, I mean you, that'll be fun for the podcast. Is just like you know, you and I uh, re- seeing who can get the most uh, co- the most caches within an episode. I agree. So, that, I can't wait for that competition. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, I would love to do that. Okay, eighteen seconds until we go. Oh man, it's gonna be bad. I, I, I mean, the yellow track is just second. Like I've I've been done the yellow track so much, I just know all the turns. <laughs> Even if I'm not paying attention, I can still do it. You know, a one hundred four or one hundred three. Yeah. Red track. <laughs> yeah, I get destroyed by racer every time on this track. Every time. He, he, he's been practicing a lot on this track. I haven't really taken the time to practice this track. Um, That's probably smart because you're not going to be able to just get the jester with your, you know, yellow track. Ability, the yellow track. You're going to need to be able to win on all the tracks. 20%. Oh, I see you behind me. Ooh. I don't see. Okay, That's, you see me behind I you. Saw you I, yeah, I saw you. I don't see you at all right now. So, oh, I have to break. It's gonna. I'm I'm gonna be interested to see it in the side by side. All right, you're in front of me. Keep that. Keep that lead. I'm coming up behind you. Oh, I messed up. Oh, (laughs) oh, no. Ah! The pressure was on. I I forgot about. (laughs) I forgot how to take that turn there. I know it's like (laughs) combination of um, break and strife. Yep. Uh huh. And I and I didn't. I didn't do it in time, but th- this this uh, track is going to give me a lot of opportunities to catch back up. Well, I agree because I'm not perfect, and this is, I've been known to crash, especially at this coming turn. Well, I don't know how. I mean, I've I've done that turn about a thousand times, and I've never not hit the wall. Oh. Like it's a very tricky turn, so you have to really break way before it. Yeah, I have to like then, reposition my hand in order to make both. Uh, yeah. the, I might as well have hit the wall there because I, I slowed down so much for it. Oh, I, I got that that wide turn just now. Yeah. Yeah. Right I just the uh, I hit it as well. I mean, I, I did a I kind of skimmed it right there at the end. Have you ever tried leaving this tunnel upside down inverted? I have, and yeah, I definitely exploded. I did land it, it somewhere. It does. Else. It does nothing for you speed wise, but it does look cool. Okay, <laughs> it does I, look weird. I just. Um, didn't break before that jump, that that drop. I forgot about that. Oh, did you nose dive? Yeah, I nose dived. Oh, no. Do you think that's in- is that a bug or do you think that's intentional? I, I think that's it, intentional at this point. Yeah. If they're not yeah, trying to too. fix it, then it's part of the game. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think I, I think they want you to do uh, have to have to break there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that was very strange. What just happened to me there. How far? I wish I could see. Like a timer of how far away I am from the leader. Yeah, maybe we should like how many put that in the suggestion, it. or maybe they already have that coming. When I had my uh, my backup computer, this was so rough going through here. <laughs> That's probably because of the frames per second was dropping on you. I took the pillars too fast. I like how this le- this map looks. I I just I think this is really a stunning like achievement. This whole racetrack here. I like the the feel going yeah. through the canyons. It's got those vibes of um, uh, 
which Star Wars is that? Where they, um, I think it's like the episode one or two. Episode one, yeah, it's with Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. Where they're racing the pods. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's a it great has movie. that, and I like, I, I love that. I mean, uh, in a bad movie, that's really kind of like the best thing about that movie. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't really enjoy that one. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I like the I mean, story of. Well, how you know, Anakin. I mean, I would have enjoyed it much more if Jaja Jar Binks was the Sith Lord. You know that. Yeah. So. True that. True that. I thought that was actually pretty really and how they made I think that was where it was going and they got totally turned around by Disney for the seven viewers who've watched every single episode uh, they'll know that reference yeah <laughs> somehow I have to win this uh, race with 8% health <laughs> uh, oh no oh I know it's 159 69 or oh, 149 Another Another big potential bug in the racing, and I don't know if it is or not, sometimes when you get get your speed up there to the sonic level, you don't always get the sonic boom. Have you noticed that? Oh, really? I, uh, I have not noticed that. Um, I haven't got it here, though. I, maybe it's because, like, I, you just boomed, and then, like, it doesn't do it again the second time. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I, well, I guess there are very... Yeah, very, few times, seldom times, yeah, that I, I think I know what you're talking about. I think it's just, like, maybe you didn't take that turn the right way, you know, like, and it yeah. just didn't give you that second. Boom. Like, I just saw a boom just now. Alright, cool. I took that turn better this time. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna put in a... I mean, I can't, because I, I crash, but I... I See, this is why I think, right, like, for example, like, this is an example. I mean, normally there would probably be about, what, uh, we would hope, like, four to six racers on the track. But if you're doing 1v1s, uh, three races, th I think three laps is too short. Yeah, I'm not, it's, it's, I mean, also, I'm not very, I'm, Jesus. Maybe this, maybe not for this one. Maybe because it's so long. And yeah. the margin for error is higher. I mean, I feel like you're about... 15 some odd seconds ahead of me at this point and like you keep uh opening up the uh the lead here but you got this man i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna try to invert it for the pod ah i didn't <laughs> <laughs> i haven't tried it in a while all right but yeah i mean i can't wait for these sliders and i, I i'm gonna be making some some I'm gonna take be taking some screenshots of different things that can people can do. We'll, we'll see what we can. Uh, it's gonna look good on Twitter. There's gonna be a lot of people showing off their yeah. avatars. Yeah, making some green people. Is some there aliens? I mean, is like what's the um? If if there was like no limit to what you could do, if you were if it was Ready Player One, what would be Eddie Z's avatar? Is it gonna be like the um the uh, is the aliens kind of looking thing, or are you gonna be? <laughs> you know that would you be cool. Would you I, even I, be I kinda, a human? I would. What would you be? I probably would do an alien. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, aliens and corn kind of go together, don't they? I mean, aren't those little corn crops, <laughs> those corn fields out there that where they make all the symbols? That's true. So, like, I mean, I, I I would think that there is a correlation between aliens and corn. So, hey, I would think that, and hope, hopefully, one of these theme zones out of the next like nine that they have planned out to do, that it, one of them is has to deal with like a an alien race or an alien planet or outer space type of thing. That'd be really cool. I mean, it's got to explain where the uh, where the quantasite comes from, right? Like, it's is it is it alien? Is it interdimensional? You know, so yeah. like, there's going to be some villain somewhere that's that's super external to earth i would imagine yeah i mean and i i would love to see my uh god eyes ada invaders in the in cornucopias because i don't know if you've ever seen an ada invaders image but if you like blow it up and actually zoom in into ada invaders it's such a like it's it's to cornucopias 4k quality i mean it's literally that that detail in the outfits mm -hmm. um it's amazing i actually really enjoyed that art um that's why you I've used it for such such a long time as a PFP. Um, I only recently changed it, but it's actually just I've been a fan of that art. Uh, whether it goes anywhere, it's, it probably won't, but it's fine. Uh, I love the art, and I will use it. So if they can, if they do add in some sort of alien race, I hope that they model it after that because that'd be really that'd be pretty dope, especially my God Eyes one. Yeah, I mean, I, there's going to be a lot of that. I would imagine 
because you want to be able to kind of tap into other communities right like you yeah. want to be like hey community over here you know now they have a like you know a reason to come check out cornucopius so yeah it makes a lot of sense to do that Even speaking of like cross-pollination so that was the other big topic from the um the cornucopius uh, Kopi cafe right the um you know the being on base um that and you know i felt like we were kind of called out a little bit because you and i are kind of cardano maximalists and they they but but where i think i think we're cardano maximalists in the we're maximalists for the the theory behind cardano right like the 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 the, the promise of cardano that's what we're, we're a maximalist to those values we're not necessarily a maximalist to the, like that cryptocurrency like you know that and um and we definitely think that cardano needs to be cross-chained it needs to be able to ha have um and, and so does obviously Cornucopius, right? And they're doing a great job of that where they're on base. What did you think about that whole discussion from uh, the Kopi Cafe? Um, and I think it's being taken chain agnostic. Is I mean, the way I see it first is Cornucopius is a game first. Yeah, that's the game. Their first. mission isn't to convert anybody to a cryptocurrency. Right? I, I could yeah. care less that it's a Web three yeah. game at this point. Yeah. It, it's to me, it's a Web two. It's a Web two. It should be a Web two game sold as a web 2 marketed as a web 2 and that it has web 3 components to it yeah what kind of web 3 components it all depends on the proper technology and the reason why i like cardano a lot is just based on the technology and it stems i mean josh and and rob think the same way right that's kind of why they started building on Cardano. that's why agix builds on on cardano that's why you know meld and 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 Minswap decided to build on Cardano. There's a lot of reasons why people start building on Cardano, and yeah, maybe a lot of a lot of them start in ETH because I mean, personally, I think they just didn't do the research and they just went for the first what's the top chain for to build on, and that's ETH, right? Because they have smart contracts, or they and how they now it's well now it's a, a staking uh, a platform, but I still think Cardano has really good good technology, but at the same time, there I'm not a cardano maxi i mean at the same time i'm a yeah. card i'm a crypto believer like i think the technology is is worth uh in value just because of what it can do so i mean yeah. i'm not i don't think cornucopia is i think cornucopia is doing the right thing um and for just people in cardano are just gonna have to accept it i mean whether it's an unpopular decision but i mean i'm still skeptical about ethan and it and it's just it's infrastructure and all that to, to an extent um, but I'm glad that they're going into something else like base. All right. So with the, the whole listing on base and uh, what that means being like, the, I think the fourth chain Cornucopus is on, we're all still kind of hungry for like that centralized exchange listing where the U.S. Um, has access to it, which pretty much is like four different exchanges, obviously, like, you know, Binance, Coinbase, uh, crypto.com and uh and kraken right so i think um do, i think with this listing on base i wanted to ask you your thoughts how do you feel about that do you think it's like a, a foot in the door into a coinbase listing do you think you get more credit when you're on base with coinbase or do you think they just they don't care they're going to list people on coinbase as they see fit yeah, I think it's ultimately Coinbase's decision in the end. I mean, if they they see value when they see volume, I think that's what matters to them. As long as there's credit, you know, validation as to what they're doing, I don't think they're just going to put any, you know, rinky dink meme coin out there. Um, but I think, <laughs> right? They, I, they I, might. They, they um, might. Well, I mean, they can't. But I mean, if it, if, it, if like so take for instance like Dogecoin, I mean, that's something that I think it would, you know. I mean, that or in Snack as well. I mean, as long as there's some sort of, and it, if it has liquidity and, you know, and traction behind it, then yeah, I can see stuff like that happen. But not in Brinky Dink in terms of like someone making out of nowhere, like the, the Husky coin, you know, well, not Husky is a brand, right? But like Charles Huskin coin or, you know, um, or something that's just out of nowhere. Um, like they call it Pepe, Pepe Snack, you know, like I don't know, some random. I thing. saw I saw that the other, I mean. The, oh, really? They already the exist? Time. Yeah, that's a really that's a real thing. Pepe snake. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I do I do think that it's funny because I do think that in a weird way, s s snake might might lead the way for Cardano native assets. Um, that the first the first like Cardano native asset to be listed on a major U.S. exchange might might in fact be Snake. 
which would open the door for others, you know? Uh, I personally would rather it be a world mobile token, but, you know, if it's got to be Snake, it's got to be Snake, you know? Yeah, I think it would be world mobile token, and I'm not going to lie, I will think, I do think, uh, like, four DeFi's will, will be up there. I think LenFi will be one, formerly known as A to Finance. I also think yeah. Meld. Meld is a good one, uh, just because they have Hunt, a lot I think, of... You know, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, min swap, I mean, think of the liquidity that they're sitting on. They're sitting on a bunch of ADA right now. Uh, and they've been holding it forever. I mean, it's just, it's insane the amount of liquidity that they have for, or based on ADA. So as long as ADA goes up, min swap's value just goes up. And as well, um, what was the other one? Uh, one more. Uh, Lenfi, Meld, min swap, and Liquid. I guess those are the four. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it being a lot. I mean, I could see Cornucopius being the first one listed too. Like, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't put it as the my favorite to be listed. Like, not that I have a, like a favorite, but like the odds-on favorite. If I yeah. was like betting on which one would be listed first, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would bet. But I, I wouldn't be if if it was Cornucopius. I wouldn't be surprised because I, you know, it, it, it is you know so. Uh, it's, you know, it's spread out over four chains. There is clearly demand for the, the the nodes. Did you see? I I miscalculated. They said they've sold seven thousand nodes. I thought it was five thousand in the Kobe mm -hmm. in the in the Kobe Cafe. So, uh, you know, while maybe the, the 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 liquidity isn't quite there on the de decentralized exchanges as as maybe what we would all like it to be. Right. It, there's clearly demand for anything associated with this project you know so oh, no i hit the wall you, no. you say, oh no because i hit the wall yeah i know i hit the walls okay good I just, <laughs> all I good was like, <laughs> what lap are we on i mean oh, i, I didn't uh, i have a 102 third, third, 48 lap? lap oh my god yeah you oh might god, win man you're gonna win you're gonna win don't screw it up oh i screwed it up ah oh yeah you won <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and you get the fastest lap. Yeah. All right. Best out of ten. I get at least I take the uh, right. take that. You know, I, we should we should make like a championship belt where like the WWE has. <laughs> <laughs> Just pass it between each other. I think Rob, Rob said he was like he's more into he can only, he really do the slower vehicles. Yeah, the well, of course. Well, can't we all? <laughs> Bruce Lee taking a turn at the 600 kilometers per hour so uh something else that was up in the uh, kopi cafe uh they were talking about you know the s-class vehicles and how each chain is going to have their own s-class so like if you buy you know you know your your valkyrie on ethereum network and your whatever it's going to be on cardano and whatever it's going to be on base and whatever it's going to be on bnb there's going to be four different vehicles all s-class you'll be able to race them uh, against the other chains, so they're talking about like battle of the chains, which I thought was really fun, <laughs> a fun idea, right? Like it's gonna that competition might bring, you know, even like if you're sitting there in Ethereum, like I'm not gonna let these Cardano guys tell me they can beat me in a race, right? So like, mm -hmm. I think that'd be a really good way to bring people in. I, what did you think about all that? Yeah, I do think that's a, a good idea. Have a battle of the chains, uh, maybe call it the Crypto Cup, right? Just make a tournament and call it the Crypto Cup, uh, and then. Who knows? Maybe we take it a bit further, and then eventually, like, we'll have like the Cardano tournaments, the Ethereum tournaments, the Solana tournaments, the Avalanche, the Base Wait, tournaments. Are you in here? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm in the red track. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. I was just sorry. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, but, but yeah, and then, uh, and then, but yeah, then call it the Crypto Cup, and then maybe. Oh yeah, the uh, Crypto Cup. Yeah. Yeah, and the next thing you know, each one, like, who knows? Maybe like someone like Racer, for example, Racer, who we had on last week. He ends up being like the Cardano racer for representative for us in, in the Crypto Cup because he won first place, right? And he has the logo, he represents the Cardano logo, kind of like a, in like a NASCAR, like how you had like the different brands of uh, vehicles. So weird. I, I haven't used this vehicle in so long. I know it's funny that you say that. I haven't ever raced, uh, well, not on the red track. I've raced the Bonanza, Woo! but not. Where did you go? You flew up in the air. Yeah, no, you you went right past me. I hit the the, the side here. Oh, I thought I thought you looked like you flew off the screen. I think it's kind of cool that we're riding what basically is like a torpedo. I feel like I mean, first off, 
this is almost pretty enough of a vehicle to make me want to go buy a mythic uh, <laughs> bubble jet. Because I mean, like, uh, but like, I feel like this should be a little bit. I like, I feel like you're, you're on a missile, and it, I I want it I want it to accelerate more, even if it doesn't have the same top speed as like a T3 has. Yeah, that is true. I guess. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. It depends. I mean. But I see where you're saying it's basically a missile. But if you think about it, the T3 has th three thrusters. This only has That's two. True. Versus, that, and also I mean, like the T1 has four. No wait, the T1 has two thrusters. I think. Yeah. What's the max speed on this thing? I'm gonna find out right now. Let's get it going. Oh, I only have seven health. I didn't even realize that. Oh my lord, I'm gonna die. We're almost at a thousand. Oh, I hit a thousand. Man, you cannot do this very long at all on this one, though. Oh. I mean, it makes sense you have one thruster, you know? Oh, yeah, your your thruster goes, your boost goes, heats up pretty quickly. Uh, I could have taken that turn better. How am I? I'm just better at slow, the slower vehicles than you are, I guess. You were right on my tail. I, can you, you're just seeing me the whole way, huh? Yeah, I'm watching. Awesome. So I can see your name. Well, now I can. I wasn't. I didn't earlier. Should I try to get air? Should I do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I missed. <laughs> you know, oh, I just blew up. I just blew up, and my backpack was on the ground right where my vehicle was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, I hit the white button back, so there we go. Get catch up to him. Oh, I got a little. Oh my gosh, I just hit the wall. Down to 26. Is this the last lap? No, this is only the second. This is the, the second, second lap. Yeah. Oof, I'm gonna have to go a long way here. I mean, that's the one thing, though. I mean. When they do, when they we get this competition with the other other uh, chains, we are gonna have a leg up for sure because we've been playing this game for months. Oh yeah, I like that this. I like that there is like this sway of the character as they're like leaning on one side, like a like a mortis, like a bike. Did you did you not even hit the wall on the turn just there? Uh, no, I went. I hugged the inside wall. I went left. Yeah, I, I don't understand the handling of this vehicle yet. I gotta figure that out. It doesn't lean quite well as you want it to. Yeah, I feel like the handling should be. It's it's in my head. It's better than it is. It's, I mean, I, I will say it's for me. It's because it feels a little underwhelming because it's a T three. It's almost similar to like when I when I we you know me and Racer were talking about it as well. Like on the last podcast, it just from going from the F9R to the T3. I mean, I love the T3, but the F9R just it was a different yeah. beast. I miss it. I miss it a lot. I know. So you know what I did today? I bought some Ethereum. Oh, yeah? So, oh, wow. Okay. So that see, I we're not, we're ready not, we're not Cardano maximalists here. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, I, I have, I've always had a little bit, but, like, I, you know, I um, I bought it because I want to be ready, like you, I want to be ready to, for the mint because they were, yeah. they were talking about it. Well, the well, the, remember, I, I thought, I mean, unless I'm wrong, I mean, I, I bought USDC on, on, uh, on the base network because is that, I mean I thought that's how they would probably do it versus the Ethereum route. I don't know if they will do it. Oh, I, I mean, is that did I, did I screw up? Did I don't. No, no, no. I, th I still think it's still worth doing Ethereum, but I I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I could be wrong, but I the reason I, why I thought I bought, the Valkyrie was going to be an Ethereum mint. Or is it that could. Be the it, base but mint? I, it could though. I, I it could be. But again, the base network is is on a, the Ethereum, so like it's not. <laughs> Oh my god, I just got so much air for fun, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I crashed right into the wall. <laughs> I just want to—I just want this to work. I just want to be in a race, get air, fly over somebody's head, and land right in front of them. I will say driving like, this thing. Yeah, if I were driving this vehicle, like on the road, like uh, in the game, to get from one destination to another, I think I would have fun doing this. Like this vehicle seems kind of chill. Um, I, yeah, I think this would be my vehicle of choice from like flying from area to area. 
I, yeah, I would probably even do the OG version of it, but this thing is, this thing is nice. I like how it glides. Yeah. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if I like it more than the DTI. I do like my DTI. But this, I like how it I handles. I mean, they're, bo they're both pretty slick looking, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, into the wall. Oh man, the, the thruster heats up really quickly. You can only get so much <laughs> out of the boost. I know. That's what I was saying. It's it's like you're almost just like pressing the boost, yeah, not you're... pressing the boost, pressing the boost. But it makes like it makes sense though. You only have one thruster, so you're right. And you probably don't have a lot of. I mean, it probably can heat, overheat pretty quickly. Hopefully, you can add like a cooling system to this later on. <laughs> Do. You, do you think there's going to be a way to modify your vehicles to get like uh, better handling or more speed, or do you think that would ruin the um, the purity of the race if like some people have you know just better NFTs, better access to that? Um, you know? No, I, I think people should be allowed to you know mess with the settings of it. Uh, yeah. Just I don't know how they're going to do it. I mean, I think it should be just done per race. I, and if someone were to, let's say, sell the vehicle, uh, the NFT, maybe it should reset back to the way it was. And or maybe, or, but if you can, if you can like uh, modify your vehicle to the point where it's, you know, you win a bunch of races with it, maybe it becomes super valuable. And mm. true, but I mean, unless the the only way to do that, I would assume is to upgrade the NFT. I think if there's a particular way to do that. And I think uh, you would need to upgrade the NFT, which I don't think these NFTs are, are meant for that. Um, yeah. I want to say it's called SIP68, I think, uh, is the type of NFT that you would need in order to be able to upgrade them and make updates. Uh, mm. But yeah. That's, is, that, is that what the the, um, the land NFTs are then? Uh, no, I don't think those are either. But like, but, but again, the, these, uh, these like uh, dome NFTs and these land NFTs, they are... I mean, if you think if you read them, I mean, they're based, they're deeds, right? So you're kind of, ter you're, they're a deed for you to reach, you know, to redeem it, to redeem yeah. the land. So like, so you don't, not, we, that's right. We don't actually have the land, right? Whatever, whatever the NFT for the land is going to be. We, we don't even know what that's going to look like yet. Right. So in essence, right. So in essence, you're basically going to be trading in or burning these deeds in order to retrieve the NFT for the land itself. Um, and it's probably most more than likely that NFT is going to have the location branded on it, right? Uh, it's going to be forever tied to it. So, yeah, I, th I, th I think that's like you know, Grant, uh, the game I like, Grand Chir uh, Chirismo, is uh, a big thing about that is how you modify your vehicles, and I think that's a really fun aspect of that game. It'd be cool if that, if that could be a, somehow a part of this where you know, you have. Maybe it doesn't change your NFT, but you have you know all these different modern NFTs in your in your wallet, and then you and then before the race you just you know okay I want to put this thruster this this extra fuel tank the, or the extra large fuel tank and, and however you you know but I'm, I'm giving up braking or something you know yeah. uh, how whatever you have and, and then you have your you know a totally unique vehicle and how you mod it will will depend on whether or not you know how well it handles that track right right uh, by the way i'm gonna do a yellow track with the gti this time okay i was just thinking that too okay perfect i'm gonna use my my legendary i'm gonna use my black stealth black mythic what yeah. you have a mythic gti yeah man what don't you i thought i thought what? everybody had these things where did you win they what? were handing them out like 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 crazy, man. No. no way. Yeah, they were just giving them out. I, <laughs> I when I when I minted uh, the 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 um, T three, mm -hmm. I went common, 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 and I was watching Scruffy's live, and Scruffy's like, "I got a legendary, I got a rare, I got a." He's like, "Whoa!" He's like, and then he's like, he had the audacity when he was getting his fifth one because he was like had a legendary rare. Uh, mm -hmm common and uncommon he's like maybe i can hit for the cycle and i was like and i was i went three for three on uncommons and then on the third one i got a legendary so i was i would i think that was you know getting one legendary out of four mints is a pretty good uh outcome i think yeah no i i ended up getting a legendary on my first gti for this uh during that mint 
but I actually purchased this this uh, mythic one. Uh, it was actually really low um, from from, my, from what I remember. Um, but then again, if you compared it to the USD price, I think it's still down <laughs> in price. Yeah. But this look thing looks sick. I mean, and at the same time, I, if, I don't know if you, I think David had mentioned it in one of the Kopi cafes. Like all of these vehicles that are Oof, that we have now. Yeah, all of these vehicles that we have now look a little bit slightly different than what it, what it, uh, what their NFT looks like. Uh, even the even the bubble jets uh, look a little bit different. I mean, that is a that is a sexy looking mm. black. That's like a matte black. Oh, yeah. I do like this this color of the of the legendary though too. I mean, it's not nearly as like intimidating as the black. Yeah, but but I, I and also by the way, I also do have the cheeky racer racing suit lighting kit. That I'm oh yeah, what I'm wearing. With I I, ha I got that too. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be riding this thing matte black with the with all the gold high, uh, uh, neon lights on it. It's gonna be sick. All right, good luck, sir. Let's good see. luck to you. Hey, one thing this about is this for vehicle, all the marbles. this vehicle doesn't have as much uh, 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 durability. And you do yeah. hit the ground sometimes. I um, also I just was sitting there holding uh, boost like an idiot, forgetting that. <laughs> he already like slowed, slowed you down. Yeah. I was like <laughs> oh my gosh! You're Take right. the turns better. Uh, you're still with me. I it's still so, see you like with me. I know it's so funny. It's like you're you just look like this tiny little thing in front of me. <laughs> I hate I hate that I can see you making more distance between me. Uh, what? You know, I, 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 it, it, I hate it. <laughs> oh, I took the turn too tight. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. How much health do you have? I need you to. I have lost a lot of health. I've, uh, I'm down to 99 health. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> oh, 98. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What, what shall I do? All right. Oh, I hit the ground again. 97. <laughs> I mean, I did beat you in a T3 with you a pretty did. solid you lap absolutely time. absolutely did. That was a good lap time. That's fantastic. I think my best still is uh, one point one oh one seven point seven. Ooh, I hit the wall! I hit the wall! Oh, I've done a four L. Are you really? Yeah, I skidded the wall there for like a good minute. Oh god, I just need Not one accident minute, to catch up. I'm gonna be extra careful. You're not gonna make it through the the double turn. You're not. There's no way you're gonna make it. Oh, I've made it before. I've done it with three L. All right, focus. Uh, oh, I almost crashed there. <laughs> Come focus. on. Focus. Let's do this. I'm already down to 38. Oh, I'm down to two health. Oh my god, you're pretty far ahead of me. You're, I mean, even if you crash, I don't think I can catch up to you. I'm, not, I'm more than three seconds behind you. All right, all right. I'm not trying to crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. All right, good, good, good. Push there it. Go. Push it for the podcast. There you need to. Go. You need to show everyone in the world that you're the alpha racer. Oh, I'm giving it all I got. I'm yeah, giving it all she's got, up. Captain. Especially in that last S turn. I'm going. I'm gunning it, man. I'm gunning it. I'm gunning it. Oh man. I do see your name at a distance. Sometimes. Yeah, I do catch a glimpse of yours every once in a while. Oh no! Oh, I almost hit the wall. That does not. I'm at 12 health, so I'm pretty much <laughs> guaranteed to die one last time here. All right. And while I relax, I want to tell people: go ahead and buy your merch. Look, I got the Kopi shirt on right <laughs> here. Make sure you buy your merch with Kopi. Uh, it's coming out of England, so the shipping is not out of their control, but. The Kopi shirt's pretty cool. I got the Kopi mug. Uh, and the Kopi I saw you drinking it from it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, so, look, I beat you by 0.01 seconds on the fastest lap. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty close. Yeah. 107. Oh, I think like 10. I think me and Racer got probably got like a 104, some like sub 104, or somewhere around there. So uh, when we're um, as we're rolling out of the uh, the race here, so I wanted to talk about some Guild news first. So I was going to tell you, um, uh, yeah, we had uh, Guild news. I, okay. So there, there was a a Guild meeting that I, I couldn't attend. It was I was at work, yeah, the, but the uh, town I, hall, I, yeah, yeah. But I caught. Um, you know the the recording of that and so you know our our friend josh is he's not really le- he's not leaving the guild but he's stepping down from you know management here that he's no longer on the round table and uh i don't know that's like it's really it's, it's such exciting news for him getting this uh it's great news. opportunity with cornucopus we're we're obviously all happy for him and we're not at all upset that we're not going to have him in the guild anymore to be doing all the hard work that he's been doing all along so good job josh congratulations with your whole you know dream job yeah congrats we'll yeah no congrats congrats for sure it's yeah, I mean, uh it's bittersweet for sure uh yeah. congrats to josh uh with like in crypto i mean he's he's done a lot i mean clearly he's a great influencer and influencer for not just i think not just for you know cardano but for cornucopius but just well overall cardano and just in general talking about this you know crypto um he's very knowledgeable in the space and so it's i think they made the right decision to hire him and put him on the team as well along with him and uh um scruffy so yeah i think it's a good team solid it's solid cool that they each, each guild each of the two large guilds got has a guy on the i mean not, not that we have a guy on the staff but it's like they they got they took scruffy and, and obviously rightfully so because he's got a lot of skill and talent in in media and they can really use that and they got you know uh josh who's a hard working dude uh re- really knowledgeable so you know good uh, it's 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 only like a partial loss for the guild but it's it's also a kind of a gain because now that cornucopius has him on the staff that's going to help everybody because he's going to work hard and he's going to do a really good job i think so yeah so just let's go in his honor let's go ahead and do the emoji clap here uh, let's give him a nice little wait, wait, uh, clap 12, i don't i have to, I have to memorize it's 12 o'clock oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 hey yeah. good job little good golf job. clap little golf yeah. clap yeah congrats josh yep great yeah. good for you good for you man uh and he's still in the guild so that's one that's the one cool thing at least he's still in the guild but he can't be yeah. you know sharing all the stuff that he was supposed to be sharing with me and uh foe here before he signed that NDA. Right. I just but, wanted uh, him to tell me when Coinbase <laughs> listing, and that so I could, you know. And, and when the F, when's the F, F9R, Josh? When, when yeah. is that coming? Um, yeah, and when... When's the game sorry. released? And uh, yeah, when... What, what's going on? <laughs> what's you, going on? Could you all these questions. How, Maybe they'll answer them in Kobe Cafe. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to ask him all the time, no matter what. If I see him next time, I'm going to be po- poking him with questions. Hey, what's going on, man? What, what do you know? What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, but all right, let's, it's, I mean, it's awesome. I'm gonna do another race, with yellow track, as, and I'm gonna do the T3 again. Let's, I wanna, I wanna see if I can beat you. That's okay. It, it, it makes sense if you can beat me twice. Then yeah, you, you can. Then get, I can do. I deserve the own the crown. some credit as a racer if I can beat you twice. Is that yeah, what we're saying? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right, we'll we'll finish with the race and then we'll close out the pod, and then uh, where's the T3? All right, yellow T3. I'm gonna stick with this the legendary silver because it's the most uh cool rare vehicle I own. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, it feels like we haven't had a mint in a while. We're d- we're due for another mint. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I do I agree. I think we're we are due for a mint. I think uh well we had what well, we, we we had what? What was the last mint? The last one was the uh, the, the last one was the T three, yeah. I mean, T3. the, the exclude, not counting the I nodes, guess, but yeah. I guess yeah, we haven't had anything beside outside of the T three, but we got a teaser with the F nine R, which I guess that's why I feel like there was an event that happened, right? But no, yeah, there wasn't. I, in, my, in my head, it does it does ring like there we had it because you it got was, to drive it. Yeah, so. it like it like gave me it like pacified me right for like a little like that week, uh, and it, but now I want it. Um, but always leave them wanting more, I guess, is, is a good motto to stay, stick with. Uh, 
It's funny because Rob and Josh are like talk, like they can't handle that speed, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They have to. Have, but you get they, used to it. I mean, you, oh yeah. Because as soon as uh, they took it away from us and we were back to using the T3s, I was like, "What is this piece of junk? This is so slow." <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, no, I can't even imagine driving the, uh, what did they call them, those uh, cargo ones? I forget what they're called now, oh. the, the Astra. Oh Astra. So early on when I first got access, I was in here with Rob, and we, and we, th that was back in the day when you could go um, in reverse and uh, do a late and uh, mess with the time clocks. Okay. And we were, and we were in the cargo, the cargo ones, and they were so painfully slow. And we, we went, we went in reverse. And we, our plan was to try to get a screenshot of, um, you know, a, like a sub one minute time with them and, t and troll everyone for not being good at racing. And uh, <laughs> but yeah, those cargo ones. Oof. All right, All right Eddie. Game face. Good luck, <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Don't blow me up though this time. Uh, I tried to hit you right away, and I just <laughs> and all I did was damage myself. <laughs> no. I just uh, veered to the left. That'll cost you right there. Yeah. yeah. Could. I mean, I could still crash, though. Yeah, but you would. Hey, it's, it's happened. Unless you blow me up somehow. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like I used to do it, where I was obsessed with every turn, every little line that I took. And I'm gonna catch up to you right here. You're about a second ahead of me. All right, let's do it. I, I, I. I I'm already putting too much pressure on myself because I'm just bouncing off the walls like a pinball. <laughs> all right, here we go. For real, this all time. Right, all right. Okay, now for real. No more hitting walls after oh, that. I hit, I hit the wall just now. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, I skipped the wall. Oh, I'm doing terrible. Oh, no. How are you doing? Well, you doing well? You did took the S turn okay? Yeah, I mean, I took a little damage. I'm at a, a little seven percent uh, health here. Oh, well, that's not good. I'm still about a second and a half behind you, I think. All right. The thing is, I still drive it a little bit like I'm driving the T3, like certain places where you need to take off the accelerator you don't need to, I mean not the T3 but the Valkyrie, yeah. I still I still have that muscle memory in my head and I, and I, I haven't retrained myself yet yeah I actually just hit the wall there again, I blew up oh no, what a nightmare <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna go for the fa faster lap than you in the last lap, that's my only that's my goal here, alright that is what I'm gonna go to bed with Tell my girlfriend in the morning so she'll respect me. I'll tell her that I got the fastest <laughs> lap. Hey, you did, you did uh, beat me that last time, that last round, so. Yeah, but she's fickle. She, she'll want to know what I did in the last lap. <laughs> last race. Alright. This is the last lap right here. I got 102.81 thus far for the second lap. Yeah, so far I've got a 111 and a 112. Uh -huh. <laughs> 11 Room for improvement for sure. I mean, the one thing too is like when it comes down to this competition stuff, right? It's like there's you can't all take the same racing line, so that's the problem that you and I, I think, always get in because we always usually crash in the first yeah. turn or two. Yeah. It's because we're, we're going for the same lines, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Oh, I must have not hit the, the strafe properly there, or the brake. Ah. Probably, that second lap was probably my fastest lap. Come on, let's do the S turn right at least. Too wide. Ah, oh, well. I did beat you once, Eddie. Yeah, you did, man. We'll There's a the way. 102.81, yeah, that was my second lap. Hey, you got a 104.30. That's better than the one. Yeah, the I did a little bit better in that last oh, lap. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, Eddie. So you got any final thoughts on the uh, on this week? Sliders coming up, base. 
no i mean i can't wait for people to start posting all their uh stuff on twitter hopefully i can we can see some nice uh character creations out there uh, as well we still got the i'm pretty sure the knights of the mint is still going on right uh yeah, for the, the breastplate mint still going yeah. on yep and uh, make sure you claim your again claim, claim uh, this is your uh, reminder your weekly reminder if we can to claim your uh copy for the staking uh with uh, drip drops uh, make sure you take care of that and the Yep, don't do not forget that. Otherwise, you won't be able to claim that later. Uh, there is a, a wallet that I keep re recommending. It's called Vesper, V-E-S-P-E-R. Check them out. It's a great wallet you can have on your phone or Android. Uh, and they're trying to do a demo, I think, right now with certain testers for a desktop. They're, they were not affiliated with them. They're not, you know, they're, not for me. they're not paying for me to say that. But just wanted to throw that out there if anybody wants to, like, have a nice, convenient way to redeem your drip drop rewards uh, from there. All right, Eddie. So it looks like it's me, you, and our new friend here, Big Chicken, yeah, who Big we Chicken, have no yeah. idea who this guy is. But yeah. uh, it's great that we're seeing new people in here. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, great. Big Chicken, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining me, us. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure I get my name put on. Eddie and I want to thank the Knights Guild for letting us be a part of the amazing community they have there. Please, please check them out on X. Follow them there. Follow, be, get with them on Discord. If you're new to Cornucopius, if you're new to this project, uh, I don't know why you're finding it first through us because, you know, the Kopi Cafe is a better place. But if you are, for some reason, you know, here for the first time, <laughs> interested in the uh, community, interested in the game, the the guild is the great way to go. The Knights Guild, find them on Discord, find them on X. Uh, you can find Eddie and I on X too. It's uh, really easy to do. That's going to be in the description. Thank you to Rob, Josh, David, and everyone at Cornucopius for all the hard work you're doing. I know you're probably a little bummed, disappointed that you didn't get the sliders out when you had planned to, but we are all really grateful for the hard work that you're doing, and we can't wait to be able to, to use that and see all the crazy things that we can build. So, Eddie, looks like that's the end of the pod for us. Make sure that the like and subscribe, and we will be back next week, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Yeah, Thank you. you. Adios. See you. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Which will help you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a really thoughtful, complicated question. <laughs> well, right at race. the beginning of this race. And let's bet 10,000 copy while we're at it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's, who's this big chicken guy? Oh, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Might as well put him in the podcast. Yeah, let's get him, let's get him in the podcast. All let's, right, let's stand there next to him, and, and as we <laughs> say right. say goodbyes, and then just pan our camera at, around. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait oh, yeah, turn, wait, turn around. around, turn. Yeah, there you go. Turn. All right, I got it. I got it. <laughs>